OK, so let's consider the graph of cot x, the cotangent of x. So we know that this is going to be 1 over tan x due to that third letter rule. OK, so let's draw tan. This is the one I always underestimate of how far I'm going to need to draw it. OK, so there's uh, 180, or pi. There's 360, 2 pi. OK, so... OK, so when we've got tan of 0, we get 0. So 1 over 0, we must have an asymptote. So for cot, we have an asymptote at 0. And we're going to have an asymptote again at 180 and at 360. OK. Now, when tan hits 90 or 270, let's draw on 270, OK, then you've got 1 over what is effectively infinity, right? Now, obviously, I, I, we can't write it as 1 over infinity, but what we can say is that as x approaches 90 degrees, or pi over 2, then um, our fraction will tend towards 0. OK, so it's going to go through the x-axis at 90 or pi over 2 and 270 or 3 pi over 2. Now, because the tan curve is positive between 0 and 90, cot must also be positive between 0 and 90, because 1 over a positive is positive. So the curve must tend towards that asymptote, but go through 90 degrees. And then, because tan is negative between 90 and 180, cot must be negative and approach the asymptote. So in a likewise move, the curve must look like this. So the blue curve here is cot. Now it looks quite complicated one over top of the other, so if we try and redraw it over here. Okay. It's got this asymptote. That asymptote. I'm going to try and draw a few. That wasn't very good. Okay. So it does feel a little bit odd drawing it the other way around. Well, that's not very good. Okay. Like so. OK, so this is a cot, where this is 90 degrees, there's 180, there's 270, there's 360, 450, 540, 630, 720. So there's the curve between 0 and 720 degrees. So cot looks like tan. Uh, it looks like a reflection of tan and a translation as well, okay, combined. And that's how we can draw the cotangent function.